Have you ever found yourself lying awake at night, staring at the ceiling, and asking, Have I missed God's best for my life? Perhaps you're navigating a sea of responsibilities and feeling like you're just going through life. You look around and see your friends thriving, climbing the career ladder, starting families, or traveling the world, and you can't help but wonder if you've taken a wrong turn somewhere. Let's explore this pressing question together. We'll look at some powerful principles to unlock the exciting future God has planned for you. Let's talk about timing. You know how sometimes we feel like we're stuck in a waiting room, watching everyone else get called for their life's appointments. Waiting can feel excruciating. But what if I told you that God's timing is perfect? Ecclesiastes 3.11 He has made everything beautiful in its time. This verse speaks to the truth that God has a season for everything. So when life feels stagnant, remember that you're in a divine waiting room and He's preparing something beautiful for you. Let's take a moment to think about the incredible stories in the Bible. Abraham was 75 when God promised him a child. Moses was 80 when he led the Israelites out of Egypt. And Sarah laughed at the thought of having a baby in her old age. If they could have their moment, so can you. Let's shift gears to opportunities. Life has a way of throwing us curveballs. And sometimes we miss out because we're too focused on what we thought our life would look like. Have you ever closed a door in your life only to realize later that God had left a window wide open? Isaiah 43.19 reminds us, See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? Maybe you've been so caught up in your past that you're missing what's right in front of you. If you're feeling stuck, Start looking for those new doors. Is there a hobby you've always wanted to explore? A skill you'd love to develop? This could be your sign to take that cooking class or start that podcast. God often brings opportunities disguised as challenges. Speaking of opportunities, let's not underestimate the power of community. We all need cheerleaders in our lives. People who will lift us up when we feel down and encourage us to step out of our comfort zones. In Hebrews 10 verses 24 to 25, we read, And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. Think about your own circle. Who inspires you? Who challenges you? Seek out those relationships and invest time in them. Sometimes sharing your dreams with the right people can ignite a fire you didn't even know was there. Remember the story of the paralytic man in Mark 2. He couldn't get to Jesus on his own, so his friends literally carried him to the roof, tore it open, and lowered him down. Sometimes we need that kind of support to reach our goals. Find your friends and let them help you along the way. Now let's chat about setbacks. They're the worst, right? But here's the kicker. Every setback can be a setup for something greater. In Romans 8 verse 28 we're reminded, And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him. That means even when life doesn't go as planned, God is still at work. Think back to a time when you faced disappointment. How did you grow from that experience? Perhaps losing a job led you to discover a new passion, or ending a relationship pushed you to invest more in yourself. Every moment of pain can shape us for the better, and that's where growth happens. If you're feeling uninspired or questioning your purpose, it might be time to reignite your passion. What once brought you joy? Was it painting, playing music, volunteering, or exploring the outdoors? In 1 Timothy 4.14 we read, Do not neglect your gift. This verse is a gentle nudge to remember the gifts and passions God has given you. It's so easy to get lost in the hustle of life and forget what makes our hearts sing. So take a step back. Schedule some time to do what you love. Whether it's a Saturday morning painting session or a hike in nature, give yourself permission to explore your passions again. Sometimes these small moments of joy can lead to a bigger revelation of purpose. You never know where your interests may take you. Let's focus on the power of prayer. In the whirlwind of life, 
it's easy to forget to seek God's guidance. James 1 verse 5 encourages us. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God. Prayer is not just a last resort. It's our first step. If you're feeling lost, spend time in prayer. Ask God to reveal His plans for you and to guide you toward the next steps. Creating a prayer routine can help you stay connected and open to what God is saying. You'll be amazed at how He provides direction when you seek Him sincerely. If you've ever asked yourself if you've missed God's best for your life, remember this. It's never too late. Life is an ongoing journey, and God has incredible plans still ahead for you. As you step into the next chapter of your life, hold on to the hope that the best is yet to come. You have so much potential waiting to be unleashed. Let's trust in God's plan and keep moving forward. If you found this message encouraging, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps us share more life-changing lessons from God's Word. Stay connected for more uplifting content.